Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to share with you a little bit of forensic science as we make Scott reagent using potassium thiocyanate and cobalt chloride. Check this out. So all I'm using in this investigation is cobalt chloride, a little bit of potassium thiocyanate, one beaker with 60 mils of distilled water, the other with 20 mils of distilled water, a couple pestles, some petri dishes, a couple watch glasses to test Benadryl and aspirin. Benadryl gives a false positive for the Scott test and my measuring spoon and a dropper and that's all there is to it. The first step is to add two grams of cobalt chloride to 60 mils of distilled water and stir the solution until it's aqueous. The second step is to take just half a gram of potassium thiocyanate and add it to 20 mils of distilled water and stir until aqueous. Now in order to make Scott reagent, I'm gonna add 10 more milliliters of my aqueous solution of cobalt chloride to my 20 mils of my aqueous solution of potassium thiocyanate. And when I do that, I will create cobalt thiocyanate in a double displacement reaction. So what happened in this reaction when I added my aqueous solution of cobalt chloride to my aqueous solution of potassium thiocyanate, we had a double displacement reaction where the metal ions traded places, the cobalt traded places with the potassium. So instead of cobalt chloride, now I have cobalt thiocyanate. And instead of potassium thiocyanate, now I have potassium chloride and water in this little beaker. This is used to perform the Scott test because cobalt thiocyanate changes from pink to blue in the presence of cocaine. Now, of course, I don't have cocaine here, but I do have Benadryl and aspirin. Interestingly, the Scott test gives a false positive in the presence of Benadryl. It turns blue. We'll compare that to crushed aspirin where there's no change and it remains pink. So to perform the test, I'm gonna take two Benadryl, put it in my Petri dish, and I'm gonna crush these pills with my pestle. So here's my crushed tablets of Benadryl. Next, I'll crush two tablets of aspirin. And now it's time for the Scott test. I'm just gonna put a drop of my cobalt thiocyanate on each powdered pill. Over here, I have the Benadryl. If it changes blue, that's a false positive. In the presence of cocaine, it would also turn blue. So let's see if it turns blue. Oh yeah. Look how blue that is. Huge color change. Now look at it on the aspirin. Little to no change at all. But man, on the Benadryl, it really shows up. Okay, so in this double displacement reaction, we started with cobalt chloride in an aqueous solution, and that's the COCl2. And then we added that to potassium thiocyanate, that's the 2KSCN. And those are our reactants. When they combine, the metal ions trade places, and you get the products cobalt thiocyanate, that's the COSCN2, and potassium chloride, the 2KCl, and water. And this is called Scott Regent, and it's used to detect the presence of cocaine. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.